In this video, we will show you how to find, navigate and engage with the Community Board at CBA 14. We will also be showing you how the Community Boards will be used for the meeting greets and the roundtable sessions at CBA 14. On the CBA 14 homepage, click on the Community menu to access the Community Board. Here you can see the discussion topics have already been created including the Ask Organisers Anything topic, where you can ask the CBA 14 organising team your queries, and the Organisers Announcements topic, where you can catch up on the announcements made by the organisers. As a participant, you can create your own discussion topic by clicking here. Once you fill out the details, the topic will show here. Please note, discussion topics are a space to raise burning issues that haven't been addressed elsewhere, to highlight big ideas to develop with others, or convene with other attendees working on a particular issue or geographical region. Please make sure to read through the existing discussion forum topics before creating a new one. A popular discussion topic can become a roundtable. A roundtable is when you and other participants schedule a time to have a live discussion on the topic, but more on this later in the video. If you click on a discussion topic, you can view more detailed information about it and add your comments here. You can follow a topic by clicking here. This will make sure that the topic appears at the top of your list when you open the community board. If you click on meetups and virtual meetups, you'll be able to view when and where the meet and greets and the roundtables will be hosted. The meet and greets are a chance to meet and chat with other participants and hear about their plans for the conference in a small and informal setting. The meet and greets are hosted by key CBA practitioners from our community. Since these are capped at just 10 people, make sure to sign up early. You can find out more information on how to join one here. As mentioned before, for a discussion topic to become a round table, there needs to be interest from other participants. Make sure others have agreed to a live session before you schedule a round table. When you create a discussion topic you wish to become a round table, we recommend you add the word round table to the topic title. When you are ready to schedule a round table, Click Suggest a Meet, then click Virtual Meet and fill out the details in regards to your roundtable. Please put in the title that this is a roundtable session so it can be easily identified by other participants. You can choose to host your roundtable on the built-in virtual meeting room provided by the platform or using your account on an external virtual platform such as Zoom or Skype if that is preferable to you. When you are done, Click Submit and then your roundtable will show here. You can view the details of a roundtable by clicking on one and you can RSVP by clicking here. Once it is live and the roundtable has started, you can enter the session by clicking here. The stream will show here and the chat box for the session will show here. Roundtables with a significant number of RSVPs will be featured as a session in the main programme. Please refrain from creating a meetup that is not a roundtable session, as we are planning to use this area only for the roundtables and the meet and greets. Meetups created that are not roundtables will be deleted by the CBA 14 organisers. We hope this overview of the community board has enlightened you as to how you can use and engage with this feature at CBA 14. We look forward to seeing you and interacting with you on the community board in the run up to and during the conference. If you require any further assistance, please visit the how-to guides on the CBA 14 platform or contact CBA conference at ied.org where our CBA 14 organising team will be happy to assist you.